Hi, and in this tutorial, we're going to go over the addition of real numbers. So today, you'll learn how to add numbers with a number line, how to find sums using the identity and inverse properties, how to add numbers without a number line, how to use addition rules to simplify algebraic expressions, and how to solve applied problems using a series of additions. So adding with a number line, we use the number line to help picture the addition of real numbers. So here's how we use the number line to find a sum of a plus b. First, we're going to start at a, and then if b is positive, we're going to move b units to the right. And then if b is negative, we're going to move the absolute value of b units to the left. And if b is 0, we're going to stay at a. Now the number where we finish on the number line represents the addition of a plus b. So let's do an example. Let's use the number line to add negative 7 plus 5. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a number line. Start at negative 7. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. So the first thing we're going to do is start at negative 7. And then because B5 is positive, we're going to move five units to the right. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Five units. So the number where we end up is negative two. So that means negative seven plus five equals negative two. Now, the additive inverses are a pair of real numbers that are the same number of units from zero on the number line, but on opposite sides of zero. So here, our additive inverse of one is negative one. Our additive inverse of two is negative two. And our additive inverse of 3 is negative 3. So they're the same amount of units away from 0. So what is the additive inverse or opposite of negative 1.7? So if with negative 2 and then negative 1, 1, 2. So if negative 1.7 was here, its additive inverse would be 1.7 here. And it's the same distance away from 0. So equals 1.7. Now the inverse property of addition states that the sum of any real number and its additive inverse is zero. So here we can have a plus its additive inverse negative a equals zero, or negative a plus its additive inverse a equals zero. So let's do an example. What is the sum of the additive inverse of 4x? So we have 4x plus its additive inverse, which would be negative 4x. So 4x plus negative 4x equals 0. Now the identity property of addition states that 0 can be deleted from a sum. So here, if we have a plus 0, 
Well, we can delete 0 and just write a. Or if we have 0 plus a, we can delete 0 and just write a. So let's do an example. Using the identity property of addition, what is the sum of 4x plus 0? So we have 4x plus 0. Well, we know that using the identity property of addition, we can delete 0 and just write 4x. So the sum of 4x plus 0 is 4x. Now here's how we add two numbers with the same sign without a number line. So the first thing we're going to do is take their absolute values, then we're going to add their absolute values, and then we're going to use their common sign. So let's do an example. So without using a number line, add 10 plus 4. So the absolute value of 10 is 10. The absolute value of 4 is 4. Now we're going to add these two. So 10 plus 4 is 14. And then because they both are positive, that means it's going to be a positive 14. So without using a number line, 10 plus 4 equals 14. So without using a number line, add negative 4 plus negative 6. So the first thing we're going to do is take the absolute value of negative 4, which is 4. We're going to take the absolute value of negative 6, which is 6. Now we're going to add these two. So 4 plus 6 is 10. Now because both of them are negatives, we're going to add a negative sign here. So without using a number line, negative 4 plus negative 6 equals negative 10. So here's how to add two numbers with different signs without a number line. So the first thing we're going to do is take their absolute values, subtract the smaller absolute value from the greater absolute value, and then we're going to use the common sign. So let's do an example. So without using a number line, add negative 30 plus 5. So we're going to take the absolute value of 30, which is 30. We're going to take the absolute value of 5, which is 5. Now we're going to subtract them. So 30 minus 5 is 25. And then we're going to take the sign of the bigger number. So 30 is bigger than 5, and 30 has a negative sign. So that means we're going to add a negative sign. So without using a number line, negative 30 plus 5 equals negative 25. So now without using a number line, add negative 12 plus negative 8. So here we have negative 12. We're going to take the absolute value of negative 12, which is 12. And then we have the absolute value of negative 8, which is 8. <clears throat> so because these two have the same sign, we're going to add them. So 12 plus 8 is 20, and we're going to take their common sign, which both of them are negative, so we're, we're going to write negative. So without using a number line, negative 12 plus negative 8 equals negative 20. Now here's how to add a series of positive and negative numbers without a number line. First, we're going to add all the positive numbers. 
and then we're going to add all the negative numbers, and then we're going to add the resulting positive and negative sums. So let's do an example. So without using a number line, add 5 plus negative 3 minus 7 plus negative 7 plus 2. So we have 5 plus negative 3 plus negative 7 plus 2. So we can use the associative property to combine our positive and negative numbers. So we have 5 plus 2 plus negative 3 plus negative 7. So now we're going to combine our positive and negative numbers. So 5 plus 2 is 7 plus negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10. Now we're going to add 7 plus negative 10, which is negative 3. So here's how we add a series of positive and negative numbers without using a number line. So today you learned how to add numbers without a number line, how to find sums using the identity and inverse properties, how to add numbers without a number line, how to use the addition rules to simplify algebraic expressions, and how to solve applied problems using a series of additions. So try and solve problems in our addition and real numbers workbook for more help, sign up for online tutoring. And in the next video, we're going to go over the subtraction of real numbers. Thank you.